A Williamson County prosecutor proves he's never really off duty. As Fox 17's Flint Adams shows us, this prosecutor fights crime even after hours. And that story is only on Fox tonight. Some will tell you Chris Vernon looks a lot like Harry Potter. But this past weekend, the assistant DA showed off some of his dirty Harry. It happened Friday night at Cool Springs Galleria. Vernon was with his family at the mall when he spotted the security guard chasing after a thief. I didn't think she'd catch him, and I thought, oh, I can, I can try to catch him. So Vernon took off after the 25-year-old suspect, Dustin Hyes of Springfield. One man yelled at us to slow down, and he didn't know what was going on. It was kind of funny. And uh, I said he's a shoplifter. Hyes had swiped a $71 bottle of cologne from Macy's but he didn't count on also nabbing Vernon's attention. The scrappy assistant DA tailed highs through Macy's and into Dillard's, then outside the mall, a pursuit he figured lasted about 15 minutes, long enough to call police on his cell phone, as well as get to know the suspect. He asked me who I was. I didn't answer him. He said, then he said, try, try to give me the merchandise. He said, well, just take it. Take it, please. I, I, I'll give it back. And I said... I don't work here. Finally, Franklin police arrived and took Heiss into custody. And Chris Vernon, he was hailed the hero who got a thug off the street. It's great to see someone that, that is usually in a courtroom next to us prosecuting our cases actually on the street with us fighting crime as well. Typical Chris. Um, he's just one of those guys that if you see something that's wrong, he's going to take action. Thank you. Even when the workday is done, Chris Vernon says he doesn't walk away from the job. There are always criminals to put away on his watch. Flint Adams, Fox 17 News. Franklin Police say Dustin Hise was charged with shoplifting and spent Friday night in the Williamson County Jail. He then transferred to Murray County where he was wanted for violating his probation and possessing marijuana.